to sneak by us, Lee. That's a pretty fish. As you can that see, big. this big gig holds him on there real well. As a matter of fact, I think he, you know, he might have come off of a smaller gig. Those heavy tines really help. Look at the bait. Shrimp are jumping all over the place in here. Lots of shrimp in here. Lots of bait, period. This time of year, there's plenty of bait in the creek. Later on in the year, there won't be so much bait, but the fish will still be around. They'll be looking for what they can find. They won't be, they won't be as, as quick as they are right now. As the water cools down, they get slower. But you can gig just about all year long. Did you see that lightning? Yeah, I think it might be time to think about heading for the landing. It's hard to give up these good spots like this one right here, but uh, we'll look down this one bank till we get to the point up here, and then we'll pick up and head on in because the lightning seems like it might be getting closer. This time of year, these storms, they pop up on you real quickly, so you don't want to take too many chances. Don't want to be in an aluminum boat when the uh, lightning's popping around. Yeah, you're standing in an aluminum boat with a lightning rod in your hand. Here's a fish. Mm, that's a nice one. That's about a three-pound flounder right there, isn't it? That's yeah, a pretty fish. that's a nice fish. Look at the spots. Yeah, now see, he's patterned just like that bottom is. I mean, you would, you could, I barely saw him. Almost went right over him. What a great trip. This was, a, this was a lot of fun. Well, we'll have to do it again sometime, Lee. Sometime soon. All right. All right, here's one of the fish that we caught the, the other night on the gigs. I'm going to show you how to fillet this thing. The secret to this, and it's really easy, is if you flip that flounder over, you'll see a line right down the middle of his body. And it breaks into a hump right there, which you're going to disregard. That's his backbone going right down there. And what you want to do is hit that backbone dead center. Now, I've done this so, so many times that I can actually do the, hit the backbone from the other side because I know where it is. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the fish, slice it. You want a good sharp knife that has a little bit of flex to it. We're going to slice it right down that backbone, just like that. And that's an easy step. Then we're going to put our fingers in here. Watch your fingers. Don't cut them off. And slide that thing right. You need a sharp knife. You slide right down by the rib bone. And if I can turn this around so the camera can see it. We'll come right alongside of those fins right there, just like that. We're going to cut around those ribs, and you'll get to see that when we take an overhead. And we're going to cut up right there and peel that right off, just like that. After you get that off, it's basically the same thing on the other side. You come in on top of the backbone at an angle, you get that started there, cut that up there like that, and just follow the bones. It's really easy, and it just comes right off of there. As you can see, it's, it's really easy to get that off. Then you just grab it at the back here and slide your knife right up underneath that skin, right between the meat and the skin, and just make a sawing motion like that. And that takes that skin off, and you hadn't had to scale anything, see? You may make a nice pair of boots out of that, or a hat band, if you have enough of them. And uh, basically, that's just uh, all white meat, good tasting flounder, and you're not going to have any problems when you go to cook that. You might have to fight some people to get it. Other than that, it just comes right off of there like that. And you flip him over, basically, and do the same thing. Just go right down the center of him with that good, sharp knife. Come in top. Come on up into that bone. Just right on top of that bone. You just follow. You let your knife follow that bone. See, it slide right on those bones right there. And you just slide it right on there. And uh, like I said, you gotta, you're using a sharp knife, so be careful you don't cut yourself real bad. 